Oh, Maxi, go, 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 go off the avenue. Come on, come on, sweetie, get off of the avenue. Come on, yeah. Go home, honey. Go home where it's just water and food, and stay out of the street. Hi, my name, not so important, Timothy Trespass, targeted human being. Anyway, uh, that is Max, and Max is uh, being, he's exposed to the same horrible things that we've been exposed to, murder by unnatural application of natural causes using insects and arachnids and other tiny microscopic creatures that attack the human, live in the skin, uh, shit, you know, the feces in the body. They come out, they go back, they lay eggs, they gotta complete their life cycle in your body. And if you have a million nests in you, it's gonna kill you, poison you, like me. And, like uh, Lyme disease, this seems to be systemic and I have it in every cell in my body. Max has been exposed to it too. He's had it in his ears and his, you know, and now he's losing his ability to go meow. He goes, it's this little tiny, tiny, I can't even do it. The tiniest little squeak comes out of him. And it's so heartbreaking and sad to see this poor cat. He can't even meow. On the brighter note, on the brighter side, Max did not have his balls removed. Pedro just thought that was not appropriate. And I guess in a way she's right, because I wouldn't want my balls removed just to be able to live in someone's house. But anyway, uh, he's wanted to go and have some territory and go around the neighborhood and pee and make his little mark and, and find a girl cat and have some kittens. and fight with the other cats and that's what he's doing and it's amazing I've seen this little guy take on all comers <laughs> like run right up to the cat and, and like the other cat backs away like uh, and Max and they, they go at it a big ball of fur and, and then you hear them later making love I met his girlfriend she's uh, she's a beautiful cat who had one of her kittens has two different color eyes, but he's blind in one of them. And uh, they were hanging out together. I'm like, this is your girlfriend? You brought her over to show me. But it's heartbreaking to see his little meow. He's like, meow. He can't even make the noise. Because these things are on him. He goes, ah, 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 ah. He's like biting, attacking at himself, like almost like a seizure, but it's not. I'm trying to get these biting things off. And we've washed him with the erythrin shampoo and the flea shampoo and this shampoo and that poison and alcohol and thieves oil and it. you know I don't want to toxify this poor animal that shampoo I put it on my head it stays on you for a week it's fucking pyrethrins from chrysanthemums toxic you know uh, I got enough toxic shit in me already and I, I couldn't deal with the washing myself with the flea shampoo I don't know what these things are. My belief is that there's some kind of GMO uh, mite uh, or something that's either... I don't know why other people don't notice them. Um, the other people we live with say nothing, like there's nothing happening. And Petra is screaming at the top of her lungs in pain. Because, as I've experienced, they, a million of them go and bite you and go into your skin and you get this red leathery skin that's that's you know the insides are sucked out and, and and it hurts like hell for about a week you put water on it it hurts you put ointment it hurts you put alcohol it hurts you take a shower it hurts you touch it it hurts you don't touch it it hurts I, I was in so much pain they dumped like a vial of these things on my chest once and I woke up with this and I, I was in I was delirious delirious from pain. I had a fever and because not only do they bite you and hurt you but they have some kind of disease in them and that goes into you and builds up and builds up and builds up and you seroconvert and it creates all these cysts and polyps inside of you and necrosis. It's, this is a murder weapon. You 
using creatures to kill people. You know, so it takes a few years, big deal. The actuarial tables and the insurance companies say it's okay. So that's what they're doing. And uh, here I am. Not quite dead yet, for the grace of God. I don't know why, what I'm supposed to be doing, maybe just by being. I don't know. But you know, I pray, I hope, I try. Thanks for watching. God bless you.